Hey, what's going on YouTube? Like Butter here, bringing you episode 2 of Can't Believe It's Not Butter. If this is your first time tuning in in this series, basically it's a series where I take somebody else's gameplay that submitted it into me and I do a little bit of a breakdown, talk about maybe things to improve on, and also give compliments and um, let them know what they did well. Today we're going to be watching KJ's gameplay on one of the new maps called Anvil. And uh, I'm a little excited for this because I, I skimmed through it to make sure it was a, like a mediocre gameplay that I could actually critique on. Some people sent me entries where they went like 12-0 and 0 or 12-1 and 1 and I, I mean that's good and all but how am I supposed to uh, give you guys tips when you're doing nothing wrong obviously. So this was a really good gameplay and as you're going to see he starts off very strong. He went in and got the torque, brought it back to his side which is extremely smart. Uh, the only thing with that is you got to be a little bit careful because it is TDM. And Team Deathmatch, you, you have to be careful because the spawns can switch. Uh, one little tip that you guys can use is when somebody, uh, if you're on, on the, uh, excuse me, the Locust team, like you'll hear Queen, Mira, uh, Queen Mira say, enemy forces or something like of that nature. Um, I'll try to see when I, when it happens so I can tell you guys, but basically what that means is that the spawn switch. And in Team Deathmatch, you always want to be aware of where the spawn points are because it's not like King of the Hill where you spawn all over the map. You spawn in two spots, so you have to be aware. And uh, also on COG, I think it says incoming enemies or something. I'm not completely sure, but you'll be able to tell. You just hear a sergeant yell something, and that means the spawns have switched. As you can see right here, they're still spawning in the same spot, but they're moving up too far. So I'm guessing that the spawns are going to switch in just a moment here. Um, another good little tip with power weapons is that you always want to make sure that you savor the power weapon, especially in execution. Um, you know, a lot of the MLG players are taught this, but if you have a power weapon, you have to make sure that you preserve that power weapon. Of course, it's a little different in MLG because uh, MLG, it's, it's on after pickup, so it spawns, I think, three minutes after you pick the weapon up. But on this, remember, the, spawn, the uh, weapon won't spawn unless you shoot all of your bullets. So say, for example, you have a boom shot and your team is in no position to gain control of where boom shot spawns you might want to hold on to that last boom shot so that they're because if their team's already in position to pick it up it's kinda of pointless because you're gonna get one kill but then they're gonna be able to control the map the rest of the game so that's a cool little tip there um, as you can see he's just kinda of chilling out by torque and uh... he's just continuing to pick it up now, what I found really interesting is that I'm pretty sure they get beat, they get beat 2-0. So this is going to be like a huge problem here because they're up, Look, it looks like almost 7. They're up almost 7. Oh my god, that was rape. Damn, there's no way they could possibly lose this. There's no possibility. All right, anyway, sorry, guys. I had a little moment to think. I was like, wait, is this even possible? Um, because I'm pretty sure I saw them lose 2-0, but we're going to find out real soon. Um, so, obviously, he's out of Torx, um, and he's making his way back over towards Torque Bow. And, uh-oh, uh what's going on? All right, this was a big mistake here. Do you guys see what he did here? How he chased, he chased the guy into their spawn. You never want to chase in this game for sure, guys. Remember, it never ends well. And that guy was actually smart running to his teammates. You always want to run to your teammates when you're in a 1v1. And uh, that's exactly what he did. So as you can see, they're kind of running in one by one, not really waiting for each other. Um, I do like the fact that he's using Hammer Burst, though. It's a little bit of a change up because I'm, I don't really use Hammer Burst at all. And uh, it's, it's a very annoying weapon because it's so good, but... Um, at the same time, it's it's different. You can use it for different things. And even though they're down 4-7 to seven right now, um, they still have the map control. So that's what's kind of hurting them right now is that they're kind of pushed back in their spawn and they're kind of running out one by one. So right now, I would have had them move out and kind of spread out around the map because as you can see, most of the locusts are trapped there at Torque. And if you had people going over to the other side, you can... Uh, you know either trap them or cause them to be pushed back and it seems like that's what they're not doing right now and uh <laughs> somebody's in the party is talking about losing weight so um, i'm guessing their their interest wasn't too much into the game which is all right but 
you kind of have to expect these things to happen with uh, lack of communication. And uh, pushing a 3v1 isn't a good idea. Oh, that was kind of bullshit. I'm not going to lie. KJ, bro, that was complete shit, dude. But maybe, I don't know. I, I usually, when someone comes at me with a chainsaw like that, I never, I never trust the game anymore because I've seen it happen too many times. And uh, that was kind of a huge thing in Gears 2. Like, I remember when Gears 2 first came out. Like, when people revved chainsaw and ran, like walked at you, there was no getting stunned while you're chainsawing. And I'm pretty sure that's how this game is as well. Um, so it was actually extremely difficult to kill somebody who's just walking at you with the chainsaw with a shotgun. And uh, I don't. what I try to do is kind of roll back and get out of it. But, you know, there's only so much you can do in, in that position. So um, as you can see right here, they're kind of trapped back. And I don't know, is this, this might only be one round, I, I'm not completely sure, I haven't been paying attention. But it, anyways, this would be a great round to do, maybe the first round was boring or something, I have no idea. But um, as you can see, they lost their lead because they just weren't, they weren't going, you know, together and they weren't thinking it out before they did stuff. And um, I don't know, like, I mean, I see this happen time and time again. I've been on the other side of it, um, sometimes like when I got a couple friends and, and we're on blood drive or something, uh, and we'll be down like four to like maybe nine people, so they still got like four spawns left and we're down to our last four guys. I I'll be like, alright listen, you get on the balcony, you get up top, you get in the window and you get in the nades room, and if you just sit there and you play smart and you make call outs, you'd be surprised how many teams will just run in one by one by one and you can mow them down so you, as you can see uh that was kind of a bad loss right there thank you guys so much for watching make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed kj's link will be in the description i hope you guys can take something from this and i will talk to you guys next week take it easy guys